All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing good. Um, I am not much of a distro reviewer or distro looker adder, <laughs> but I wanted to look at this distro here. This is from uh, someone I consider a friend, Jose Santos, and this is Agarim. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Jose, if I'm not, please forgive me. Agarim OS. And what this is, it is his respin of Void Linux. And he, he has several desktops. We will open up the browser here in a moment and I will show that to you. But what it is, is Void Linux that he has added the Libre uh, kernel to. And it's pretty much already set up for you. I know a lot of people <clears throat> have issues with Void Linux trying to get their wireless to work. And Jose has already set up Network Manager for you. Connected right away, no problems. And what it is, this is LSQT, but it's using KWIN as the window manager. And it is smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really nice. And this is something near and dear to my heart he doesn't really include very much on it he leaves it up to you to decide really what you want on your system so I'll go over real quick what you do get you get Featherpad as your text editor K Vanum uh, those of you who are familiar with K Vanum you know what that is it's just a way for you to set themes and stuff and the PC Man QT file manager. You do get the Firefox web browser. Sound and video, you get the Pulse Audio volume control. And of course, that's the QT version. I added Simple Screen Recorder to do this video. I'm actually running this in a live session. This isn't installed. And System Tools, you get Gparted, Octo XBPS, which that is the uh, GUI for adding or removing packages if you want. Get an Octo XBPS notifier. So I guess that will notify you when uh, you have updates and your terminal is QTerminal. And let's go to the LSQT settings. Let's see. Where is it? I wanted to session. There we go. Session settings. And you can see here the window manager is KWIN. And it, like I said, it really runs smooth. I mean, it's fantastic. Jose has done a fantastic job with this. Um, let's go ahead and look at what themes you get, themes and icons. Now, when you first boot into it, I don't know if it'll be like me, but you want, uh, it's actually a dark theme when you first boot into it. And a lot of these icons aren't showing up, and a lot of the icons in the menu. This is in the, li in the live session. If that happens to you, just do what I did, log out. Uh, well, set your set your theme and your icons to what you want them to be then log out and log back in and you'll have them boom just like that so let's look at the appearance now I've actually gone in <clears throat> before I started the video and I changed the uh, the widget style to breeze the icons I put on papyrus light and I changed the LXQT theme to Plasma. I believe it was on Frost when I first booted. And I, if you're familiar with LXQT, when you change a theme, uh, it'll change the wallpaper. And I, I preferred that wallpaper that I have right now. So I went in and manually added that wallpaper. And you do that here. Right click on your desktop, go to desktop preferences, go to background, 
and you can choose and the way this works if you're not familiar with LXQT when you click on that browse button right there it'll pull up this window and just go to themes click themes up here and it shows all the different themes now some of them don't have background images and some of them do so just go to themes and you can click on them and you see there's that one with the little butterfly you can choose that one click open and apply and now we have the little butterfly but I am just really really impressed I love void Linux and to my knowledge I'm sure there's other people who have put out spins of void Linux but I'm not aware of them to me this is the first one that I've actually seen and it works absolutely wonderful now if you want to install it you have to open your terminal and I hope I remember this right uh, void installer oh oops okay <laughs> let's see if sudo is enabled out of the box here in the live session there we go so that's how it would work and I love this installer it reminds me so much of the installer for Nutix, the installer for uh, Venom Linux, PacBang's old installer. This is the type of installer this is. And it's actually, actually a really great and easy installer to use. So, I don't really have much more to uh, say about it. Let me pull up Firefox. Hopefully, hopefully my internet won't be too slow it's always slow but <laughs> I should have already had this pulled up and I don't know if you can see this down here if you're not familiar with LXQT where it says drop application icons here if you just want some quick launchers what you do you come over here put your mouse on that item that you want to add to your panel hold it down and just drop it right there okay let's see if I can get Jose's uh, site on here on o OSDN Agarim OS OSDN and <clears throat> When Jose, when I first asked him about this, uh, asked him was it his project, because I wasn't exactly sure, but I, I was reasonably sure it was his project. So I tried to look up the meaning of agarim, and I couldn't find a meaning for agarim. <laughs> but I think what he did, uh, if you use that whole word, agarimos, I don't know if that's how you would pronounce that, Jose, but Agaramas, I don't know. But according to uh, Jose, that basically means tenderness. And I did look up Agaramas and used Google Translate, of course. And it did, it gave me a definition somewhat similar to tenderness. All right, let's go to the list of releases so you can see what all desktops he's providing. And I'm sorry I'm sniffling. Please forgive me. All right, he has an XFCE4, GNOME, KDE Plasma, and the LXQT. And this is the only one I've actually tried. And But those of you who might be interested in Void and would like an easy setup, 
something you can just take off and turn it into what you want. You don't have to worry about trying to get your network set up since it already has Network Manager. This is something I would definitely, I mean definitely recommend you uh, at least give it a try and see what you think. Void Linux, uh, Void Linux is a rolling distro and install it. There you go. It's yours forever. All right. I will put links to uh, this, his website here on OSDN. I will leave link or I will leave in the comments section the uh, username and password and the root username and password that you would need in the live session. But that's it. Jose, thank you. This is amazing to me. Avoid Linux respin and avoid Linux respin that is absolutely done in a fantastic way. So Jose, thank you. You guys, if you want to check this out, please do. I think you'll really like it. Split, uh, especially those of you interested in Void Linux. So there you go. You guys have a great week and take care. Thanks.